Hello friends, welcome back today. We have another question from physics, and this is good for J, Mains, Advanced, and Neat. The question goes like this: There is a homogeneous straight wire of circular cross section, uh, and there is a cylindrical cavity inside this, whose axis is parallel to the axis of the uh, you know straight wire, and the axis is at a distance of L from the main cylinder. The current density inside the whole cylinder is J. We need to find the magnetic field inside the cavity. So first of all, formation of diagram is very very important in physics. Let us form the diagram. This is a wire, and there is a cavity inside. There is a cylindrical cavity whose distance from the axis are separated by distance of L. We need to find the magnetic field here inside the cavity. Suppose at a distance of x. If this distance is x, so we can say this distance is L minus x. Okay. So the basic point of doing the question of cavity is suppose there is no cavity inside initially, so there is uniform thing everywhere. Yeah, we will find the magnetic field of the whole cylinder at this point, and then we will subtract the effect of this cylinder at this point, and then we will have the final answer, right? So this is how we have to do it. If there is no uh, cavity inside, we know the formula of magnetic field of the whole cylinder inside is how much? U naught I R upon 2 pi R square. That means in this case we must know this formula. That means in this uh, case it will be U naught into the total current, which is J into pi R square. Let us suppose the whole radius is R and the radius of this is small R. Yes. So this is the general formula. I hope you know this. This is the formula for the radius R. And finding the magnetic field at distance small r. Here we are finding the magnetic field at distance small x. The total current is J into pi r square upon 2 pi into r square. That means pi r square get calculated as mu naught J x upon r uh, two. That's it, right? So this is the magnetic field of the whole cylinder at the point A. Uh, now we will find the magnetic field of the cavity. If I am able to do cavity at this point, then we will also see the direction. Okay, later on we can see the direction. Let us find the magnitude of the cavity. So that will be p dash a is equal to again same. Not i. I is how much the current in the cavity. That is j into pi r square. J into pi r square into distance is l minus x upon 2 pi into how much again r square. Right by the same formula, pi r square get calculated as mu naught j mu naught j l minus x upon two. Simple. Now see if by chance both the magnetic field due to both of them is inside, then we have to subtract the effect of this side. If the bigger cylinder magnetic field is inside and the smaller cylinder magnetic field is also inside, we will subtract the effect. But here it is not the case. So magnetic field due to this current, magnetic field due to this current, it is inside. But due to this current, it is outside, right? So this inside and this outside. If by the right hand thumb loop. So now we have to. What do we have to do? We have to add them. If both were on the in the same direction, we had to subtract them. So we had considered a diagram like this. So in this case, we will add them. If we add both. We have that it will how much mu naught j x get cancelled and by two. Yes, in the vector form it can be represented as is equal to mu naught by two j cross l. Yeah, so that can also be done. But this is how the cavity question has to be solved. So you find the uh, effect of the whole cylinder or sphere and then you subtract the effect of cavity. That's it, right? So I hope the question is clear, right? And such questions are asked in the competitive examination. You must know how to solve them. In NEET, JEE mains, advanced, it can come. Not in CBC. So if you have any doubts in the question, you can write in the comments. Share this video with all your friends. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, keep practicing. All the best.